Meanwhile, GMH CEO Ted Lewis says the hospital situation has not improved. Their outstanding debt and all their vendor payables has now reached $23 million. Here's more. Last month, a bitter email exchange between Ted Lewis, GMH CEO, and the governor's chief fiscal advisor, Bernie Artero, immediately preceded the sudden resignation of three top GMH board members, which then led to Governor Eddie Cavill issuing an executive order to take over the hospital board and to impanel a GMH advisory team. That advisory team includes Artero, and their job is to look over the hospital's finances. We asked Lewis if he's heard back from Artero or any Adeloop official since he responded to Artero's scathing email on December 9th. She um, never responded to you after that date? I, I don't recall. That, that she, I, in other words, I, I don't believe so. In the email, Lewis wrote that the hospital has reached a point where, quote, our ability to provide safe, effective care to our patients is in jeopardy due to the unmanageable level of our trade payables. Is it still your belief that GMH is in that kind of situation? Yeah, and I, I, I think um, the, the, the context of this is that um, for a number of years, the hospital has not been able to uh, generate enough revenue from the services that it bills um, through commercial insurance, Medicare, Medicaid, that type of thing. Um, the monies that it receives from those billings don't cover the cost of care. The GMH Advisory Council, since its inception three weeks ago, has met with GMH management officials, including CFO Benita Menglotnia and some technical staff. However, no one from the advisory team has met with Lewis. In fact, through various meetings, the advisory team identified three major weaknesses and forwarded those findings to Governor Calvo with recommendations. But none of those findings were shared with Lewis. He says he only learned about it through the media. Why weren't you informed directly? You're the CEO of this hospital. Yeah. Well, I, you know, I'm not, as I said earlier, I'm not involved in the management of the task force. It's a new thing. Mm -hmm. It's an interim step that, that's been put in place, you know, to help this temporary period of time. Um, so I'm not, I don't, um, um, I'm not, I don't have uh, privy to know that, the answer to that really. Do you agree with their findings? I think what, it, what I read was uh, certainly the things that, that we've known uh, are at issue here. And While Lewis says he's spoken with Will Castro, one of the members of the advisory team over the phone, he says at this point in time, the GMH Advisory Council has not made any attempts to meet with him.